Captain Scott Wagner knew that I was giving the public polling lessons, he'd laugh. He's the strongest puller I know. He's, in, he's hell on wheels with a big black pole in his hand. Big thing is, you know, get your feet a comfortable distance apart without falling off. Keep you, everything, your knees and your bent and your joints as flexible as you can. And, but the biggest thing is push from your abs. Don't hunch. You do this, you'll wear out your back and your shoulders that way. And it's not about how hard you can push most days, most situations. It's just about using forces wind and the tide and everything else and letting the boat track let the boat the boat's designed to, flat skips like this are designed to track they're not designed to spin around like you know twin fin fishes or whatever if you're a surfer you know what i mean there you go we got it's got shoulders to it though doesn't it yeah, i'm thinking it's something might be a lady but that's not the, I mean, that's just a little blue fish, but little, little, you know, strong little, you know, jack-like fish like that, they can make sudden surges around the boat. So if you're pulling the boat, what you want to do is make sure they don't wrap you around the bow or the troll motor or, you know, the fish doesn't get around the prop or whatever. So you can just make subtle little movements like this and watch, watch your angler's rod tip, pay attention, be real present in the situation. Nothing else is important except laying on that fish. And, and you can just push the boat a little bit this way, a little bit that way. This becomes really important when you're dealing with a big tarpon or a big cobia around the boat or something like that. Just try to keep the boat. The boat's a piece of structure too. And it's the last piece of structure a fish has an opportunity to break you off on. So the guy on the, on the pulling platform really, really, really needs to stay alert. And keep the boat in a position, the least likely position for the fish to be able to use the boat as something to cut you off. Basically, want to put the pole back about on an angle, about that far back, depending on you know, what your goal is. But then you want to kick it all the way back if you're trying to really watch my arm. And if you're trying to really get somewhere in a hurry, you put that pole in, hit bottom, push, 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 you can kick it all the way back to get it back up. Try not to switch sides. The only reason why I switch sides pulling is just I'm tired from one arm more tired than the other. But that's about the angle right there. There you go, fish on. What is that? Nice fish. Pop it up. Get in the boat. Anchor that power pull down right here. <laughs>